Do you see this owl that keep keep the left foot up? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> not it's not on the branch the regular way it should be, like with the talon holding the branch. It's mm -hmm. kind of sticking out like this. So I think that's the same owl. So it's the same owl that has I been in the park. Like right. Yeah. Right. But she's fine. This owl has been in the park since February. You can be in close contact with the birds a lot more than you can be somewhere else outside, even Long Island, New Jersey, anywhere else. The same birds that are here, you can see a few feet away. Outside New York City, outside Central Park, you gotta <laughs> stay a few hundred feet away. A lot of UK birds that come from, come to New York to birds. They're big birds are there, uh, UK, New Zealand, um, European, but the majority is UK. What did I tell you? Look how many people here. There are a lot of people. Paul the bird. Oh, wait, hold on. No, it's a robin. See? Hold on. Don't get the shell. And, and birds just come on your hand. And this is the area where people are used to feed them, so they come easier. There, he's coming, he's coming. That's it. You know, one time I was here, there was, by that log, there was a red-tailed hawk. See the distance? You would yeah. never see that anywhere else outside New York, have a red-tailed hawk just right there. With people here, you know, yeah. and it was totally Do you think they find it like they find like at home here or is it just like well, they're used it, to people it is, or they it get is like their food. home they're born here yeah. and and uh, you know people are part of the environment where they're born but so it's a little bit more understandable for them you know they're not migratory birds but even migratory birds you can go pretty close that's that's the fascinating thing and that's not something you can do anywhere else outside and that birds are like watching you ever ever in the park always Always, I, they see me before I see them. Uh, they are looking and uh, perceiving their environment for their own survival in a way that I'm very grateful to say I am not. So I, I um, always am trying to see a fraction of what they're seeing uh, so that I can understand them a little bit better. But they are 100% watching me all the time. If I see them, they saw me minutes ago. Do you think there's a relationship between birds and bird watchers here? Well, yes. The sad truth is that everything that we do as humans, including as bird watchers, disturbs birds. So, uh, you know, casually observing them with your binoculars, they certainly know you're around. Uh, they, uh, they act differently. They, they are affected by our presence. Um, but I like to think that we also make some aspects of their lives better. What do you mean? Just like in general, do you feel like New York City is a place that people hide in? Or do you think that people come here to be seen? You know what New York City means? Alcoholic, drug dealers, <laughs> lesbians, gays. New York City, and can I ask well, you a few no, questions? No, I can't. Thank you. Do you have a few questions? 
No? Actually, I'm on. You're on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> 